Fortnite has scrapped countless items, weapons, and even collabs, but one of the worst canceled updates has to be the Mimic Bomb. We're so used to opening every chest we find, but what if they were lethal? This almost happened in Season 3 when Fortnite made an item called the Mimic Bomb. Once you threw it down, it would place a fake chest and anyone who opened it would explode. But a canceled feature we actually got to use was hurdling. It came with Chapter 4, within a couple weeks, Epic realized how broken it was, causing them to delete it, and right now, there's no hint it'll ever return. Something that would have completely changed the game is a slow grenade. You would throw it down and anyone inside the bubble will be stuck in slow motion. It's like a boogie bomb but less annoying, so who knows why they scrapped this. That's still not as random as the electric gun. This is meant to be an exclusive weapon for Battle Lab. As you can see, it looks pretty insane. Obviously, it never released, and thanks to the removal of Battle Lab, it never will. But just a couple months ago, Fortnite hosted the most wanted event. They teased upcoming skins on the map, and they were ready to drop at any moment. We waited and we waited, only for nothing to happen. The set was totally custom with sprays, and we still have no idea why Epic dumped it. A feature that could have changed everything was discovered in 2021. Fortnite was working on smart builds that would let you place an entire fort in seconds. This was only found because creative players looked at their hotbar and saw totally different options to build with. Speaking of options, the storm was also meant to be updated in Chapter 4. Epic was experimenting with a change that would give us two final circles. Instead of everyone rushing to the same end zone, we would have had a choice, but it never released. People are more curious about the Icon series that never happened. In Chapter 3, two collab emotes were added for Two Knock Two Knock Tune and the Koi Dance. After players got excited, about this, nothing happened. The same goes for Squeezy Does It, which was only revealed last season, but went totally under the radar. We've been waiting even longer for vehicle mods. The only customization we've had over the years is Chonkers and Cow Catchers, but Fortnite has been working on way more than that. From vehicle turrets to bulletproof armor, we've had glimpses of canceled attachments since Chapter 2, so hopefully one day they will release. The same goes for the flamethrower weapon that's in the files right now. Epic kept updating this throughout the start of Chapter 4, but now they moved on, even though leakers are showing off full gameplay. It was pretty far into development, so there's a chance we'll see this one in game later. So how would you counter it? Well, obviously a fire extinguisher, and yeah, Fortnite was gonna add this too. It was totally unfinished, as you can see, but I can't imagine how useful this would have been. It's just like wall running. As most of you know, we've been waiting for this all chapter. People think it's a reality augment, others think it's a permanent feature, but after the disaster with hurdling, Epic's probably waiting before they drop another movement mechanic. Now, Fortnite almost gave us one of the most random items I have ever seen. This is Big Poppy, and if that name confuses you, just wait till you see what it does. An item that looks 10 times more useful is the power guitar. We have been waiting for this since last year because, I mean, it sounds so fun. It gives out the boombox effect while you play in time with music, but sadly, it's looking like this one is cancelled. And if you're wondering what the grappler used to look like, it was insanely different. During Fortnite's early days, they experimented with a throwable zipline. You go exactly where you threw it, unlike the modern day grappler, which is more physics based. A weapon that would have been overpowered is Mystique's dual auto pistols. These were leaked forever ago, and from the gameplay, it looked ready to launch only for Epic to never drop them, but hey, at least you can see why. And it's hard to figure out what this frozen SMG was for, I mean this basically just gave you icy feet every time you shot it, which sounds more annoying than anything. A true balance of risk and reward was the energy crystal. Players who ate this were blocked from sprinting and walking slower, but in return they would get quicker reload, a high fire rate, and even a faster pickaxe. If you want to travel more efficiently, Fortnite had the perfect solution for us in Chapter 3, skateboarding. For months we had animation leaks, skate park PYs, and they even made a whole loading screen full of skateboards. Unfortunately, it was canceled. You can only rollerblade with an emote nowadays. Well, looks like even those get taken away from us, like the unicycle that everyone was excited for, only for it to never release. Even the sad clap, which would have been perfect. Imagine doing that emote right after dropping a nuke on someone. It almost happened thanks to the Moab pistol, which launched a tiny rocket that makes a big boom. Maybe you needed somewhere to stash it while Fortnite was working on a highly anticipated feature we've been wanting for years. At one point, there was an item that replaced your backling in exchange for an extra inventory slot. Sounds like a reasonable option, but they never went through with it. It's just like the space pistol, which looked insane. I mean, this literally bounced off walls and did a ton of damage. Totally would have fit in the alien season, and there's plenty of scratch 
scrapped items that should have been released then. Fortnite once made tons of consumables themed around the Dur restaurant, from shakes and fries to burgers and hot sauces. Seriously, why isn't this a thing? But things get ridiculous when you learn about the Superstorm. These grenades would charge up and throw people around, and some of them would spawn lightning. Hard to tell from the leaked footage, but yeah, this was gonna let us summon a tornado anywhere. Maybe you wanted to summon a vehicle instead. If you were lucky enough to find a golden ticket, this would get you a personal battle bus for your team. It revived any of your dead teammates and let them spawn from the sky. Eventually, this turned into reboot vans. And another thing that was downgraded is the Fracture Live event. The ending felt insanely underwhelming. It turns out that was for a reason. Epic had an entirely different event planned for us and even animated it before plans changed at the last minute. The only reason we know about the mothership and Fracture is because they accidentally left this work in progress video in the files. It's not the only feature that would have made the game better. Hill scrambling has been in the works for a long time and it could have been a lifesaver for zero build. Nothing sucks more than having no mass to try to get up a hill, but if you can just climb it instead, problem solved. Only the gnome gun was as helpful, and yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. The devs clearly love to mess around while testing weapons, so they made one that shoots gnomes, and I mean, why not? Let me tell you, there's nothing we have waited for longer than weapon charms. We could customize our gliders, contrails, vehicle wraps, but guns have so much potential. It's been five years since Epic began work on these, and still nothing. And for some reason, they keep updating the files to this day, leaving us to wonder if it's a part of first person mode. It's still not as exciting as Fortnite Self Revive, which is a medic pack with so much potential. If you were knocked, you could get to cover and heal up, returning to the fight with full health. I mean, it does sound a little OP though. And that's just a taste of the healing items Epic has experimented with. At one point, we had the Shield Aura. This was a robot that would follow you around and give shield to anyone in a nearby radius. Reminds me of the Burst Squad, yet another iteration of these items. This one was super early in development, but the idea you could heal yourself and your whole team with rapid fire HP bursts, it makes sense they abandoned this one pretty quickly. That's unlike the Airstrike Laser, even in Season 3, Epic was making an item that could annihilate enemies from above. This form was too powerful. The airstrike would land exactly where you wanted it to. They struggled for years to get it right and eventually released a grenade version near the end of Chapter 1. But thousands of players were devastated when a future update was scrapped. Since 2022, Fortnite has been figuring out how to change every consumable. The idea was simple. If you needed some HP from a med kit or shield potion, you don't have to use the whole thing. It would be a huge quality of life change for the game, yet it's never dropped. Hopefully Epic figures it out like how they revived the beehive grenade. This was a cancelled item from chapter 1 where you would have been able to throw beehives on the ground and swarm nearby enemies. They just couldn't get it to work until this season when players logged in and found wasp jars. The same goes for a locker feature that would have let us customize the battle bus. It makes sense. If you can put your wrap on vehicles, it should totally work for the bus. Although, that means only you would be able to see it, so I, I guess what's the point? Epic probably asked the same question, but they are dropping a battle bus skin next season, so maybe this feature will come back. I'd say people are more excited about the Durburger helmet. Yeah, it's been scrapped since chapter one, but it'd be useful today. As you can see, it would have been a helmet that you equip like the bush. The first critical bullet to hit would do zero damage, which sounds incredible for avoiding snipes. Now, I don't think you would have had that problem in Fortnite's RPG mode. Over multiple years, Epic was secretly making an entirely new LTM called Saturn. It was a dungeon crawler where you could pick classes and do quests in a medieval fantasy world. We never saw much gameplay, but this leaked artwork looked insane. Yeah, that's Wizard Peely. It's not the only skin we're desperate for. People waited years for the release of Gemini. She appeared in the files multiple times, never released, and was one of the first skins ever to be completed, but not appear in the shop. It was a total mystery, only for Astro Assassin to take her place. Well, turns out the original helmet design was too similar to a character from Paladins, which explains a lot. Back in game, I gotta show you the vacuum grenade. You've heard of an impulse, but this did the exact opposite, pulling enemies towards it. And yeah, you can already imagine how insane this would be in tournaments. That's especially if you comboed it with a concussion mine. These were an early version of the proximity bombs, and you could tell Fortnite was experimenting with itemized traps. The concussion mine does exactly what you'd expect, damaging and stunning anyone who walked nearby. Someone else with a knock to the head is Tyler Rake. This skin appeared in the files a couple years back, and at first he looks like a random soldier, but it was secretly a collab with Extraction. You couldn't tell because his head is missing. Turns out Fortnite was still getting approval to use Chris Hemsworth's face, and I guess they never got it. It's not the only collab 
we missed out on. Travis Scott said is notorious for never returning. Well, it doesn't count as scrapped. His first design does. This was the original concept for Travis's outfit. Instead, he got rid of the trench coat and went from the topless Terminator we all know today. Then we have the Marvel crossovers. There's probably dozens of characters we never saw, and one of them was gonna bring a fireball mythic. This person's name began with C, but others think it was Human Torch from Fantastic Four. As you can tell, the weapon and skin, it never dropped. But a scrapped update which has the best chance of releasing is First Person. I'm sure Epic has given up on this feature time and time again, yet we keep getting more hints that it's on the way. So either it's canceled or about to be released, when in reality, it's probably just a feature that keeps getting delayed over and over. Those were every scrapped update of Fortnite. It's been Tommy and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.